All right, we're ready to go. Bye bye, little tractors. Here's the M18, everyone. It's still here. It actually has moved from the stand to here. Woo, big news, huh? I got one jug bolted on and started uh, checking valve clearances and then realized I need to get everything torqued down. So I made a special tool to get into the jugs there to uh, start checking torque. And then I had the car had issues and the truck had issues and it's just been crazy. So basically all I've been doing in the shop is freaking mowing, just mowing, dude. That's it. But let's go pick up a project. Another one. Seems like a good idea, doesn't it? back to the channel it's been a couple weeks since we really posted anything it's been a super hectic spring uh, started a new job over the winter going into spring and uh, it's been pretty time consuming uh, you know typical springtime in Appalachia stuff too so there's tons of equipment that is coming out of the woodworks and needing fixed and it's just springtime around here in general it's pretty hectic so I uh, haven't had a lot of time for projects um, but there is one coming this way and it's not garden tractor related, it's, um, it's truck related. There's a 64 F100 custom cab, uh, 292 with a three-speed automatic that we are going to go pick up. Uh, my stepdad found it. He's wanted to work on uh, restoring a vintage car, and I found it uh, a week ago. He went out there and took a look at it, said it looked amazing, uh, like pretty much all original. It was cheap. So, um, we were, we were a little skeptical. Uh, I actually haven't seen it yet. He has. Uh, so he went out there and checked it out. And apparently this is a very nice survivor. 64 F100. So this is the year right before they transitioned to the uh, twin I beam suspension. Um, so I'm going to go pick it up. Um, I don't know if, if the guy's got it running. He said he was going to try. It hasn't been running about five years, and then before that it sat for like 25 years or 20 years or something. So uh, it's got 66,000 miles on it, and it hasn't run very much. Um, so I brought the typical, you know, will it run stuff. I got a battery. I got a jump pack. Got some fuel. I got some brake clean and a fuel pump, auxiliary fuel pump with some fuel line. So we can just get it to run up onto the trailer. And uh, some portable air, in case we got to air up any tires. So I got the basics there, and um, yeah, I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. We're going to go check it out and see if we can get it to run on the trailer. It might be already running when I get there, which would be less fun. Um, but we're still going to get plenty of time to play with it when we get back, so it's not a big deal. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, let's, uh, let's go for a ride. So no, I'm not towing it with the Ranger, I'm just meeting them there. Alright, see if I can get you guys set up. And uh... Oh yeah, another thing, uh, in addition to things just breaking, uh, someone cut the cats out of the poor Ranger. I just can't get a break. All right, here we go. I think I got everything. I actually took off work early today to go get it. Uh, which I'm not accustomed to doing, so just constantly feeling like I forgot something because I'm not at work right now. It's weird. So yeah, um, I've looked and wanted to get a vintage Ford truck back in my life for uh, a while. Um, I've owned several of the um, 
several of the dent side boards, the 73 through 79s. And I kind of troll uh, Facebook Marketplace looking for trucks all the time just because I think they're cool and I like browsing for them. But I had found, um, you know, I had found a couple of those and then decided. Uh, I actually was gonna, I was looking for a project truck for myself this year, and, um, when I got the new job, I decided that it was just gonna be too much to try to do it all. Um, you know, picking up a brand new project like this, you know, garden tractors are one thing, but picking up a truck is, like, you know, that's, that's a level of, of dedication to a project that I just do not have right now. Um, you know, my, my... Um, my home and family life is super important to me. I like to have time with my family. Um, I'm not the kind of person that gets home from work and then just heads right out to the shop and plays around. Um, you know, my free time really has to be spent pretty carefully um, because I like to keep a good balance of family and work. And, you know, having time to just tinker around in the shop, and I'm sure that a lot of you can relate to this, um, it just kind of comes last, because as a, you know, I, to me it's more important to be a good, uh, to be uh, you know, present and be a good uh, person and support person for uh, all the other people in my life, and um, not to say that I come last or whatever, but, you know, I just think it's important to think of others before yourself. And so, this is why my projects take forever. Um, so, you know, like the um, rebuilding the M18 on uh, the 1882. And that project should have taken me a month or two. And then I tore it down and it's going to take... <laughs> it's already past the year, so it's going to take quite a bit of time to get that done. And, you know, I have a, a customer slash friend of mine who has a, an engine swap that I need to get done for them. And so, actually, when I get this truck back, I'm not even going to really do much to it until I can get this other um, project out and get it back to my friend. So, um, again, you know, take care of... I like to take care of other people first. So anyway, uh, I looked for a project truck and I found a couple, like late last year, I was looking for them and I found a couple and they, um, they were kind of roached 73 to 79 Fords, but they, that's my favorite year and I was willing to take a crappy one because I don't really care, I just want one. This thing is just not in the right spot. <laughs> that sucks. Anyway, um, so I kind of gave up on getting a, a truck project, a vintage truck project. Um, but I've, I'm a Ford guy, so I looked at the the Dent Side series, which is like the '73 to '79, and then I looked at the um, the Bump Side series, which came before that at '67 to '72, um, and I never really got much further back than that. Um, into what they call the slicks, I guess. I just found this out. Uh, the slicks are the 61 through 66. So that's what this truck is. It's kind of the last era of trucks that had a, a, um, a less truck-like appearance. They got like swoopy fenders and they got cool little like, you know, they're, they're a little more stylist. They got more stylish, the stylistic cues in them as far as the body style goes. But it's great. For me, I was looking for a Ford truck and didn't expect to get one. And then I just happened to find one on Facebook and my stepdad went to look at it and he, he's like, it's great, this is, a, this is our truck. So, um, I'm super pumped. And uh, it's gonna be fun because of the, the idea with this one is that we're gonna drive it. This is not just gonna be, we're not doing a full restoration, none of that stuff. I don't have time for it. Um, 
and he doesn't have the inclination or the money for it, so, um, and I certainly don't have the money for it, so, you know. With limited time and resources, we are going to get this thing back on the road and make it safe to drive for, you know, not just somebody who's mechanically inclined, excuse me, but for, um, like my mom and my stepdad, sister, my wife, um, you know, just make it a, a cool little driver, you know, you want to run down to the hardware store with a, you know, run here, run there kind of thing. It's a truck. You, you we intend to use it as a truck. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, that's the plan. And, uh, I know that I've posted a lot of stuff about the garden tractors over the last year or two, and I still am very much into the garden tractor stuff. Um, but like I said, I just haven't had any time to do any of it. And um, so we're going to pick up this truck. We're going to probably take it to uh, a car wash, pressure wash it, bring it back. Um, and then I got a little... Um, canopy to set it under to keep it nice and dry at least um, until I get enough space in the shop for it. Because right now, you know the state of the shop, it's all garden tractors and, and you know, outdoor power equipment. So, got to make some space. Um, so, you know, long term, this will be a running driving vehicle and then I will get back to the garden tractor stuff too. Um, but, but the way things have been going this spring, uh, it's not going to be till midsummer, I think, until I get back into having enough time for the garden tractor stuff. Um, and you know, that's fine. It's, uh, yeah, I've got a kink in my neck. It's, it's, it's a hobby. So, there's an ebb and a flow to it. And there's times where you get a lot done and you feel accomplished and you know you're like man this is awesome I love doing this stuff and then there's times where it just sits in the background and collects cobwebs for a while and that's kind of where the garb tractor stuff is right now so uh, but this was an opportunity I couldn't pass up so all right we got the caravan Should be about five minutes away, according to my stepdad, so we'll see. I'm so glad the AC still works in the Ranger, man. 22 years old and it's still got good AC. It's got great AC, actually. It's a hot one today. It's, uh, I think, low to mid 80s. Probably one of the hottest days we've had so far this spring. Last week it was in the 40s and now it's in the 80s. So, you know, that's what you get. Ooh, I see Cub 3000 series. 